the last race of day two. Betfred Nursery Stakes is a 0 to 70 handicap over seven furlongs. No Del Hinton horse, so somebody else can get a winner. <laughs> and he can't get a treble up unless he won the one previous to the one I called. It's over seven furlongs. Charles Walker for Gala Aragante is number one. Prosperine for Martin Leadham. The Milky Bar Kid for Kevin Mina. And yet another for Darren Howe. Spirit Dancer for Obi Wan. La Signora for Gabetha D. SO is and Delonghi for Stu Gray. Nighttime Lady for Pontypool. Maison Module for Dan Hughes. Fly out of love for James Follis. Riccardo Boccini for Gabetha D. And twice Miss for Alex Cherry. Just the 13 of them. All getting ready to line up here. Over seven furlongs are in the gates. And they're away. And a nice, even, clean break there. And we're going to be pulled along by twice missed and La Signora. All that up against the fence is Riccardo Boccini. To a Cabeza Tease horse. I don't think you've had a win yet, mate, but there, it's it's getting closer. So inside the six, it's twice missed and Ricardo Boccini against the fence. Then we've got Spirit Dancer for Obi Wan being pushed along. There's already a few lengths here on the DeLonghi Mason module. Wide is La Signora. Widest of all is Fly Out of Love. Then we've got the Grey Milky Bar Kid just on the inside of him. The ones running along the fence are DeLonghi and Mason module. And then I can't see Charles Walker or Prosperine or the Milky Bar Kid or yet another or SOS or Nightmare Lake. So, as they come down to the three furlongs, it's twice missed from Riccardo Boccini against the fence with Spirit Dancer. Pushing along now is Masson Module to look to challenge. The grey in the middle of the middle of the course is the Milky Bar Kid. But up front is still twice missed for Alex Cherry. Leads by just a length now, but going to be challenged by the Milky Bar Kid. And La Signora running on well. Charles Walker out wide against the fence here. We have SOS running on, but it's twice missed. He's got a good couple of lengths advantage here. Against the fence is Riccardo Boccini. Riccardo Boccini comes. Come on, get up there. It's twice missed from Ricardo Boccini. Here comes the Milky Bar Kid, but SOS as well. It's the Milky Bar Kid and SOS. SOS, Milky Bar Kid. Milky Bar Kid. Milky Bar Kid's going to pull away here for Kevin Meenan from SOS, or is he? Ooh. I think the Milky Bar Kid just hung on to that. Milky Bar Kid is strong and tough. Something else if you learn enough. The Milky is white. The widest bar. The Milky Bar Kid has won the Brett Fred Nursery Stakes. So it is a win for the Milky Bar Kid. Probably by a head from SOS. A win there for Kevin Meenan, the last of the day. And it is the Milky Bar Kid for Kevin Meenan, by half a length from SOS for Stu Gray. Third was Charles Walker for Carl Aragante. DeLonghi run on for fourth for Stu Gray. Oh, blimey. And Riccardo Boccini, unlucky there, but hung on for some prize money for Cabeza T. You'll get a win soon enough, uh, Seguro, to, uh, to gain us. Uh, I will stop talking. Anyway, move on to day three tomorrow. And then Easter. Easter, are we having a break at Easter? We can't be doing all this over Easter weekend. A good bank holiday Monday and everything. I'm assuming Gray will do something about that. Because I'll probably be away.